Hey, it's Jessica with GEM, and I am here to bring you a new STEM experiment today. So we are going to be talking about air density and how that helps airplanes fly. But before we get started, let's go over our safety rules. Let's make sure we have any long hair pulled back. We have long sleeves on and pants. We have closed toed shoes in case anything happens. We just want to be safe for that. For our materials, we are going to need a pair of scissors and we are going to need a single sheet of paper if you want to use note paper or you could use printer paper or cardstock or colored paper and then the first thing we are going to do is we are going to take our paper and we are going to fold it so as you see I have a crease here we're going to fold it right on this edge so we are going from this corner to the side and we want this top edge to line up with the side here so what that does is that makes the shape of a square so we have a square up here and then we're just going to cut off this bottom part because we don't need it we just need the square shape for our experiment today so this is my square this is what it looks like um, so we just want to make sure that the edges are all the sides are all the same length let's go over the steps of how to make our hovercraft okay so once we have our square here we can fold it back along the crease that we just had and we have this triangle so we have our two corners here are meeting up on the side and then the next step is we're going to take the two opposite corners and we are going to fold them together as well so that they meet up on the other side so then you should have something like this and then we want to open it back up again and we want to use this crease right in the middle there and we are going to take this edge right here and we're going to line it up here so if you see you can kind of fold it and curl it this way and we're going to do that with both sides okay so now we have this kite shape with an opening kind of in the back and we have the flaps in the front and then we are going to take this flap that we were just using and we're going to fold it back along to uh, line up with the fold that we just made we want this edge to line up with the fold and we're going to do that with both sides Okay, so we should have this V kind of looking shape and we have our folds out here in front and then we can flip it over so it faces like this and we should have two kind of fins on the back and we have an opening right in the middle here. So you can leave it kind of flat to the table or you can pull it up a little bit and it makes a bigger opening. And then we can blow in here and it should move. So the way that air pressure works is when we blow into the hovercraft in that little pocket behind in the back, it builds the air pressure behind it and it allows it to be pushed forward since the air pressure inside that little pocket of the hovercraft is greater than the air pressure above the hovercraft. And the aerodynamic shape of the cone, how it's lower on one side and it's higher on the back, allows it to be pushed forward as well. It has this wedge shape so it pushes through the air and it moves. The airplanes use it the same way where they make sure that the air pressure below the wing of the airplane is a lot higher than the air pressure above the wing. But that's the way that air pressure helps in them taking off. So I hope you had fun today with our hovercraft experiment. I know um, you can definitely do different experiments. You can do different shapes of the hovercraft or if you want to change the weight or put paper clips on here somewhere or change the shape of the nose or if you want to use even tin foil or a different kind of paper, you are definitely welcome to try it out and let us know if something worked better for you or if you had the same success. We will catch you in our next video.